With only a few weeks left in the NBA season, the NBA power rankings are pretty much solidified, at least in terms of tiers. Look, we know who the top teams are. We know where the Knicks are. We know there's a lot of teams in the middle, but there's still teams climbing. There's still teams falling. There's some interesting stuff going on heading into the playoffs. Let's get into our top 10. At number one, the Milwaukee Bucks. Look, the injury bug has hit this team hard. Miritich is out. Pau Gasol is out. Worst of all, Malcolm Brogdon is out for an extended period. Even with all that, the Bucks showed us against the Rockets Tuesday night. They are a better team, and they are still an elite team. Number two, the Golden State Warriors. You know, that ugly loss to Dallas on Saturday. Consider that a reminder how much Steph Curry means to this team. He sat that game out for rest, and they fell apart on offense. Number three, the Denver Nuggets. Look, they already have 50 wins. They've secured a playoff spot. We're talking about them getting the number one seed. That's huge for a team that has never made the playoffs before. Huge week for them. They play Houston, Oklahoma City, and the next Tuesday, Golden State. That's going to determine their seeding in a lot of ways. Number four, the Houston Rockets. Look, they got a taste of playoff basketball going up against Milwaukee. A James Harden-focused defense that stopped him or at least slowed him down and referees swallowing their whistles. There were bright spots. Capella played well. Chris Paul played well. But they're going to need more if they're going to win second and third round playoff series and really challenge the Warriors. Number five, the Toronto Raptors. Look, you want a bright note, Raptors fans? Kawhi Leonard leads the NBA in baskets to tie or take the lead in the final minute of a game this season. He has eight of those. Those kind of shots come up big in the playoffs. Number six, the Philadelphia 76ers. Look, the Sixers looked good a couple weeks ago. They'd won six in a row. They beat Boston. We thought they were figuring it out, and then they lost to the Hawks at Magic. They're still a little bit up and down. That lack of a bench is still making them inconsistent night in and night out, and it's concerning going into the playoffs. Number seven, the Portland Trailblazers. Sadly, I fear this is the highest Portland ever gets in these rankings for the rest of the season. Losing Yusuf Nurkic for the rest of the season is huge. They're still without C.J. McCollum. They've just been hit too hard by the injury bug. Number eight, the Utah Jazz. You know, they've won seven of eight with the best defense and the second best offense in the NBA over those eight games. But don't read too much into it. They're just playing a soft part of the schedule. They're taking care of business, but they are winning, and that's a good thing for momentum heading into the playoffs. Number nine, the Los Angeles Clippers. Probably the hottest team in the NBA right now. They've won 11 of 12, and in those dozen games, they've had the second best offense in the NBA, led by Lou Williams. He's going to win sixth man of the year again, I think. He has been phenomenal. And number 10, the never count them out San Antonio Spurs. They've been a top 10 defense in the NBA at home this season. But on the road, they are actually 8.2 per 100 possessions worse on defense. And they fall into the bottom 10. Why that would concern me if I'm a Spurs fan? You're going to be starting the playoffs on the road.